Since temperature calibration can often be very time intensive, it's important to prioritize efficiency in your procedures, especially when working with a variety of temperature control devices. The Aditel 286 multifunction reference thermometer readout streamlines and automates this process with fully customizable programs to measure and calibrate SPRTs, RTDs, thermistors, and thermocouples. This video will take a look at how the 286 can be used as a temperature bridge to perform a repeatable comparison calibration of five different temperature probes. The ITS-90 subranges used in this demonstration will be 5 and 10, which cover the freezing point of indium, the melting point of gallium, the triple point of water, and the triple point of mercury. With exception to the triple point of water, all of these points will be measured with a comparison calibration. Comparison calibrations are used to test probes across ITS-90 subranges without having to realize intrinsic standard points, which often require expensive equipment. To begin, we'll connect a reference standard resistor to the REF2 port on the 286. This 100 ohm resistor is stored in a precision temperature bath at 23 degrees Celsius and will be used as an external reference to calibrate the five probes against. Now we will set up the calibration test. From the 286 menu screen, select the Application button, then Probe Calibration. Select the plus icon in the bottom right corner to add a new test. These tests are saved locally on the 286 and can be revisited at any point in the future. Select the probe type, in this case SPRT. Here we can choose the ITS-90 subranges we will be calibrating, which are 5 and 10 as mentioned previously. Next, we will add the 5 SPRTs that we will be calibrating by pressing the plus icon. The name and serial number of the probe should be recorded to ensure accurate traceability. Once all probes have been entered, we will check the Use External Standard Resistance option before pressing Next. Here the test method for each calibration point can be changed and points can be added or removed using the plus or minus keys. We will use fixed point tests for both triple point of water calibration points and comparison tests for the other three points. Specific test settings can be changed here as well by selecting the calibration point you wish to change parameters for. Once each point is configured to your lab's testing standards, press the next key. On this screen, sampling and scan settings can be changed for the entire test. Finally, the test can be named and saved with relevant metadata. Press the check mark button, then the save button to save this newly configured test. Now we will add the DUTs and reference probe to the first bath. This bath is held at 30 degrees Celsius as a comparison point for the melting point of gallium. The reference probe will be attached to REF1 on the front of the 286. The DUT cables will be attached to ports 1 through 5 on the top of the device. Return to the 286 screen and select the 30 degree set point on the left hand side. Select the first probe to enter the calibration screen, where we will add each of the probes for the automated measurement. First, add the reference SPRT from the list of preset probes and press the check mark to move on. Then press the next button and add each probe to be measured to the corresponding channels that they're connected to. Press the next button again once finished. The 286 will now test each probe signal to ensure that they are reading correctly. After that, press OK and the check mark in the bottom right corner to move to the next section. Once you select the play button in the bottom right corner, the test will begin. After a brief temperature stabilization period, the 286 will move forward with the comparison measurement of each DUT against the reference probe. This portion of the test is fully automated and will end with a pop-up window once all probes have been measured according to the test settings. Once the test is finished, remove and dry off the probes before proceeding to the next calibration point which will be set to 160 degrees Celsius as a comparison against the freezing point of indium. Insert the DUT probes and reference probe into the bath and connect them to the 286 in the same way as the previous calibration point, with the five DUTs connected to the top ports and the reference connected to REF1. Since these probes use quick connectors, we are able to easily disconnect and reconnect them without having to remove the four wire connections from the 286. On the 286 screen, Select the first probe on the 160 degree calibration point and follow the same steps as the previous calibration to run the automated measurement. After the test is completed, remove and dry off the probes and store them where they can cool back down to room temperature. Since the next calibration point is the triple point of water with a much lower temperature than the 160 degree bath, it's important to allow the probes to fully cool before beginning new measurements. Once cooled to room temperature, we will add all five probes to a pre-cooling area in the bath. Since we can confirm the triple point has been reached with a visual inspection of the water cell, we don't need a reference probe for this calibration point. For this set of measurements, we will have to go one by one through each probe due to space restrictions. 
Move the active probe into the water cell, then connect the cable to the 4-wire connection on REF1. On the 286, select this probe from the menu to begin measurement. After the probe has been measured, save the test cache, remove the probe from the cell, and dry it off. Swap the REF1 connection to the next probe to be measured, add it to the triple point cell, and repeat the process to complete the measurement. After all probes have been measured at the triple point of water, we will move to the triple point of mercury. Instead of a mercury cell, we will use a comparison calibration at negative 39 degrees Celsius. This calibration point will be measured in the same way as the 30 and 160 degree points. Insert all five DUTs and reference probe into the bath and connect them to the five ports on top and REF1 respectively. Select the negative 39 degree calibration point on the left hand side of the screen, select the first probe, and again add all of the probes to their corresponding locations on the device. After pressing play, the test will complete automatically just like the last two comparison measurements. Save the test cache by selecting the save icon in the main calibration screen. Lastly, we will do one more triple point of water measurement with the exact same procedure as previously shown in this video. In the final calculation, both triple point of water values on each probe will be averaged to ensure the probes are functioning normally across both ITS-90 subranges. Once all testing is complete, calibration results can be saved and reviewed immediately. The Aditel 286 automatically calculates resistance ratios, ITS-90 temperature coefficients, temperature averages, and more, making it one of the most intuitive and easy to use electrical bridges on the market. These results can then be saved and exported by first inserting a USB drive, then pressing the Save button. Here the user can enter the file name, the operator name, and any extra notes about the procedure, before exporting by selecting the Save Local and Export to UDisk option in the bottom right corner. Once exported, the data and coefficient calculations will be stored on a CSV file to be easily accessed and organized using any spreadsheet program. The calibration program will also be stored on the Aditel 286 to be repeated at any time, both improving lab efficiency and reducing downtime. Programs like the ones shown in this demonstration are fully customizable to fit any lab's testing procedures and standards. We hope this video has been an informative look at how a temperature calibration can be done with the 286. We would also like to give a special thank you to the calibration team at Acumac Temperature Labs, who made this video possible by providing the equipment, laboratory, and expertise needed to thoroughly document this process. To learn more about the Aditel 286 and other amazing products, please visit our website at aditel.com.